the madman. Welcome back. A lot of cards got revealed over the weekend. I actually didn't know they were revealing cards during the weekend, but you got a lot of cards to go over. So let's get started with the rogue legendary, Mimiron the Mastermind. Three mana, two, five mech. After you play a mech, get a random one of Mimiron's gadgets. Uh, Mimiron is clearly really powerful when you look at the gadgets. Not only do you get three mana, two, five, which is difficult to remove, five health minion, uh, but every single time you play a mech, you get a card. Uh, better than draw a card in a tempo deck because these cards are better than actual cards. So with this context of the payoff being you want to play low cost mechs, it seems like they're uh, is going to be a tempo mech idea. There's also the chance that you play it later, you play Mimiron, you play a one cost mech, and then you get the Mimiron's Cloak Field, and then you play Cloak Field on Mimiron, uh, thus ensuring that you're going to get a full turn of playing mechs and getting more gadgets, perhaps one of which would be another Mimiron's Cloak Field. Mimiron the Mastermind really is a must remove. And that sets the stage for all these other mech cards. I think the big dangerous one is going to be Copper Tail Snoop. 3 mana 4 3 mech beast, magnetic, whenever this attacks, get a coin. This is perhaps one of the scariest, uh, perhaps very snowball-y minion uh, out there. It's possible you could turn 1 that frequency oscillator and then turn 2 magnetize the Copper Tail Snoop to the frequency oscillator and then attack and immediately get a coin. But yeah, between Click Clocker, Drone Deconstructor, and Frequency Oscillator, these all look like low-cost mechs that Rogue will run with Mimiron and will run in order to try to magnetize Copper Tail Snoop on pretty early. Rogue's also got from the Scrap Heap. Two mana, get three 1-1 one, one Magnetic Spark Bots with random bonus effects. We've seen these Spark Bots. They're one mana 1-1s. One, with Magnetic, and with one of Reborn, Divine Shield, Taunt, Rush, Wind Fury, Lifesteal, Stealth, and Poisonous. Uh, while the Scrap Bots are, you know, when you consider the fact that they would be really insane in a mech rogue deck, two mana might be just a little bit too much mana for it. Difficult to say, because you could always play from the Scrap Heap, uh, specifically to try to do something like a turn six Mimiron into Spark Bot, Spark Bot, Spark Bot, as a simple combo. It's a thing that could happen, especially with Pit Stop. Two mana, discover a mech from your deck, give it plus two, plus one. If you run few enough amounts of mechs in your deck, you could guarantee getting Mimiron or Voltron Prime. Like, with only four different types of mechs in your deck, you would guarantee that you draw at least one of Voltron Prime or Mimiron the Mastermind, and you get a plus two, plus one buff on it. Uh, of course, I am more of the school of thought that this kind of mech deck is actually going to be a tempo mech deck and you are going to include all sorts of mechs in it thus that paying two mana to draw a mech is a bit too slow one of the cards that may surprisingly not be too slow is lab constructor four mana three two mech at the end of your turn summon a copy of this forge gain magnetic which you can then play on your Mimiron, you can play on the Titan, Voltron Prime. Uh, one of the really sick things you can do if you're playing this tempo mech deck is, let's suppose you get the situation to an empty board, uh, you play your Voltron Prime, you choose maximize defenses, gain plus three health and can't be targeted by spells or hero power, so you have a three eight can't be targeted on an empty board. On a following turn, you magnetize the Lab Constructor onto Voltron, and then you have two Voltrons, and then you could immediately attach the cannons on both Voltrons and deal 16 damage to random enemies. Lab Constructor is also really dangerous on Memoron, uh, because once you Lab Constructor the Memoron, uh, you will get a Memoron's gadget, and then after you do that, you'll get two gadgets each time you play a mech. Also worth noting is, you don't have to forge this because you could just play Lab Constructor and then magnetize stuff onto the Lab Constructor because at the end of your turn, you will summon a copy of the Lab Constructor and if you buff the Lab Constructor, uh, which is easy to do since it's a mech and you have magnetic minions in your mech rogue deck, then you get twice the benefit from magnetizing things onto Lab Constructor. So really interesting card, which I think is one of the 
big key parts of this mech rogue, in fact. You've also got Tarslik, a one mana. Minions take double damage this turn, deal one damage. This looks more suited for a control or valley rogue, uh, one that's going to be using cards such as Fan of Knives in order to clear the board. I don't believe in a value or control rogue coming about because that deck doesn't really apply right now. And Tarslik, while good in that type of deck, is not good enough to make that kind of deck happen. Two pretty good tempo cards are the Kajamite Creation. Two mana, three, two, battle card, discover a spell from another class that costs three or less. Wow, that is one of the best. Uh, generate a card by playing a card that has decent stats cards that we've seen so far. You're getting very narrow selection of a spell from another class that costs three or less. And spells can be preparationed by Rogue. By having a low mana cost of two uh, and discovering a spell that costs three or less, you're pretty much guaranteed to have a decent next turn if you play this on two because you can count on having a card. Thief Rogue is a pretty good deck right now and I think Kazumite Creation will slot right into that. But also any sort of Tempo Rogue or even Valley Rogue uh, we'll want to consider Kajamite creation, even though this isn't a mech. Uh, if the mech rogue deck needs some extra space, I think you could slot Kajamite creation into most of the tempo rogues. And then last but not least, the card that I think will go into a number of tempo rogues, but not even just tempo rogue, uh, could go into a number of rogues, period, is gear shift. One mana, shuffle the two leftmost cards in your hand into your deck, draw three cards. The two leftmost cards in your hand tend to be the ones that are the most useless. They're the ones that you kind of want to get rid of because they got stuck in your hand. They were not good enough to play, essentially. So you gear shift them out and then you replace the gear shift itself pretty much and you draw three cards. So you're discarding the two cards that are most likely the least good because they weren't worth the time playing and then you get a whole bunch of new cards. Uh, that's actually good across a number of decks, but the bonus is if you're playing a Tempo Rogue, you might run out of cards and then you play Gear Shift. Oops, I have an empty hand. I'm just going to draw three. Uh, so this is kind of like Secret Passage in that case. And we all know Secret Passage was quite good. But this card is better than Secret Passage in a lot of situations because you can actually play this when you don't have that much mana because you can see your hand and you see that those two left cards are quite bad. So just shift them. Excellent card in a Tempo Rogue deck. Perhaps excellent card in Rogue decks, period. I was surprised to find that Rogues ran Gone Fishing which is a one mana card, which just simply increases your card quality in hand. Uh, Gear Shift is similar. It's a one mana card that increases card quality in your hand, but I think this is substantially higher of a improvement in terms of card quality than Gone Fishing, assuming you didn't need to look for any dredge stuff in particular. All right, good stuff. Also, check out the Priest Reveal to be up very shortly.